Well, when I Uganda, Temuina Chemwe Kwasa, because some of you keep saying you do not know your favorite celebrities. Well, that's what our one on one edition is for right here on HEV2. Let us take you for a one on one interview for this week. Arise and shine, for the glory of the Lord is upon you. Thing that also was part of those crazy memories that I didn't want to talk about because it was nasty. I was performing at Silk Events. It was, uh, what was it? Jam. What was that? Street Jam. Yes, so Street Jam. I was next to Kasuku. He was with me. We were chilling. I came off stage and I went backstage. But those days were a bit interesting because these things are troublesome. Like with music, you have more enemies than you know. Sometimes you get attacked in ways that you don't understand. So after my show, I go backstage, waiting for my driver, stroke manager, to come with the car to a young Yewaka. My dancers were not there that day. I was with my brother, Kasuku was there. And then boom, this guy comes at me. But then I wasn't alone, so I was fine. He came at me and went up. As he went up, he started saying some nasty things. But I kept quiet because you don't fight these guys that look like gangsters. <laughs> you, you, you chill. Then it goes down and says the same thing again. Uh, and I'm like, whatever. So he came the third time and poured something on me. The media was there. They took a lot of pictures because we are at the street jam, really. And these things were itching all over my body. There was some green stuff inside and some liquid that I can't determine. I didn't know what, what it was. So I was my manager came and I was scratching and screaming and they took me to the hospital. So the story that got out with people that saw the situation, they said acid. Later they came on to the hospital and I was fine. I told them it's not, of course, if it was, what would I do? Oh my God, the face. <laughs> I still think about the cup face. But people in the music industry are very troublesome. Neither I advise people that are trying to get into the music, you need Jesus. 